To Hammersmith, the question mark London suburb, turned the eyes of the nation. For this 48th by-election may measure the trend in Britain's political thought. A battle of no excuses. It's touch and go from the start. The Conservatives, in candidate Anthony Fell, former engineer here with his wife, are testing not only Labour's hold on a seat won from the Tories, but also their grip on the will of Britain's electorate. With the general election only a year away, perhaps even nearer, the Socialists, with their candidate Tom Williams, are also fighting with an eye to 1950. Backing Williams, Welsh miner's son, become university tutor, come relays of MPs to help the government uphold its unbroken by-election record in a campaign based on social reform and improved housing. I have no friends in the Daily Mail, but the Daily Mail this morning, though it is no friend of mine, admitted that in fact this government had built 880,000 houses. You see, our Tory friends are rattled. If you're number five, Bob, and it's not just number five, put it up. Shut up, woman. This is God's virtually of the light. People's money. The people's money. Try and act like a lady. Try and act like a lady. You can. He was one of the leaders. But he's not the only one. All the time out of conservatism. Well done, the election or any other. As both campaigns reach their climax, the Tories play a trump card, a street-by-street -street tour by Winston Churchill with candidate Fell at his side. Going into battle with an all-out attack on socialist inefficiency and overspending, the Tory line is again attacked as a poor substitute for a constructive policy of their own. You will be voting for the revival of our fame and repute throughout the world. You will be voting for a strong Britain, which means good securities for peace. <coughs> and you will really be voting for a uh, growth strength of the British Empire. Inside the town hall, 40 tellers check the record poll. 70% of the electorate. Tension mounts as the last few papers are counted. The returning officer runs over the figures, and the candidates, one the vanquished, one the victor, confidently await the voters' choice before joining the mayor on the balcony for the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, give, give order if you please. The figures of the result of the poll are as follows. Anthony Phil was 13,610. William Thomas Williams, 